Hello everyone, welcome to Med Smashers. Today I am going to teach you about flail chest. It is a life threatening medical condition where three or more ribs fractured in two or more places on one side or either side of the chest causes paradoxical movement of chest during respiration. There is blunt force that produces an underlying pulmonary contusion. Pulmonary contusion is Bruise of the lung caused by chest trauma interfere with blood oxygenation which cause hypoxia. Hypoxia means lack of oxygen in tissues. Often it is a contusion, not the flail segment that is the main cause of respiratory problems in people with both injuries. Voluntary splinting of the chest wall occurs as a result of pain. Mechanically impaired chest wall movement and the associated lung condition all contribute to the hypoxia. Types Anterior, posterior, central, lateral, diaphragmatic and mediastinal. The flail chest can occur in these sites. Now the causes. Vehicle collisions like any blunt trauma, fall from height, crush injury on chest, assault. You must know the pathophysiology of flail chest. Several adjacent ribs are fractured in two places, either one side of the chest or either side of the sternum. Then unstable flaccid chest occurs. Flaccid means loose or like it is not firm. Then flail segment moves paradoxically that is inwards during inspiration and outwards during expiration. Normally what happens? when we inhale like when we inhale the chest moves outwards and when we exhale the chest moves inwards but in flail chest it occurs paradoxically then there will be decreased ventilation and decreased gas exchange so poor oxygenation from injury to the underlying lung parenchyma and paradoxical movement of flail segment ultimately it leads to hypoxemia and hypercapnia. Hypoxemia means lack of oxygen in blood and hypercapnia means accumulation of carbon dioxide in blood. Here you can see a picture of flail chest. You can see here the rib fracture and during inspiration see the red line. It goes inwards and during expiration it goes outwards now the symptoms chest pain and shortness of breathing occurs risk factor mainly occurs in the elderly who are more impacted by the falls as a result of their weak and frail bones diagnosis to confirm the diagnosis the chest wall can be observed for paradoxical motion of a chest wall segment Paradoxical respiration is painful and increases the work involved in breathing. CT scan with contrast to display the vascular structure and a 3D reconstruction of the chest wall is the gold standard. You can see a figure here 3D reconstruction showing aortic disruption. Chest x ray should be done also. There are some complications of flail chest. Pneumothorax. Hemothorax ARDS means acute respiratory distress syndrome. It can be fatal actually. We must treat this life threatening condition. For that, flail chest should be stabilized as soon as possible. Patient should be hospitalized. Until hospitalized flail segment can be stabilized by compression with the palm of hand, placing a sandbag on flail segment. Or fractured rib is elevated by tile clip to make it stable temporarily. In hospital, nursing in high dependency unit, regular blood gas analysis, adequate analgesics, tetanus prophylaxis, oxygen inhalation 40 to 60 percent if needed until flail segment stabilizes, and antibiotics should be given also. In severe cases, endotracheal intubation with positive pressure ventilation for up to 3 weeks until fractures become less mobile. Chest tube if needed. Thoracotomy with fracture fixation 
if there is underlying lung injury. Then internal fixation in flail segment with sternum moving paradoxically. We can do aspiration if there is any pneumothorax or hemothorax. Aggressive pulmonary toileting and physiotherapy can be done. Pulmonary toileting is set of methods used to clear mucus and secretions from the airways. If you like this lecture, please like, subscribe and share and also hit the bell button for more notifications. I will make more upcoming videos. Now I wanted to share a quote. You only fail when you stop trying. So study as much as possible. Thank you everyone. Bye.